Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do this makeup look for you guys, but I'm going to use the Beauty Tech collection. Um, so I've got some of their brushes here and their sponge. Um, so if you'd like to see how I got this makeup look using the Beauty Tech collection, then just keep on watching. Okay, so as you would have heard from the intro, we're going to use the new uh, Real Techniques Multi Tech collection. Um, these are the brushes and this is the sponge. I have wet it so it is damp, um, it wasn't that big when it started so it does expand and then it's like more bouncy than it starts off with. Um, so we're just going to do the face, um, I'm going to start with the NYX Photo 11 Primer. I'm just going to put this on the areas I have larger pores. And then for foundation I'm going to use the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. And I am the shade medium 52 warm. So I think I'm going to put it straight onto the, the sponge. Ooh. I'm just going to do two bumps. I'm just going to dot it to start with. And then I'm just going to blend it in with the sponge. It's a very bouncy sponge, which I like. <clears throat> it blended it really, really nicely. It actually does soak up some product, but pretty much every other sponge does that. Um, it did feel really, really nice. Um, and then for concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me in 10. I'm just going to use the, oh, <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to use the same sponge, but I'm going to use the pointed end this time to really get into my eyeball, um, so I'm just going to bend it out, I'm just going to blend it out, bend it out. Again, it soaked up the concealer, but it's not a problem, it's blended it really, really nicely, so it's really smooth, so that's nice. I'm just going to see if we can try and bake with it. Um, so I'm use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just going to dip the sponge in. And it is damp anyway. And just press that under. Okay. Cool. So say if I really, really like that sponge. I'll just have to keep using it. But I do really like it. Okay, and then for the eyes, I'm going to use the Lorac beginners collection, this is their 120 summer eyeshadow tones <coughs> so this has two layers to it, it has this top row um, with these bright greens and oranges and then on the second layer it has more like purples and pinks and stuff um, and this was gifted to me as well so hey girl <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're going to use that today. I'm thinking of doing like maybe some teals or something, maybe like a spotlight, we shall see. <laughs> so I'm going to use the Real Techniques Multi Collection Brush. Um, this one is the Point X XS um, and they all have the same shape to them. Um, so they all have the, the point going up but they're all just different sizes. Um, so we're going to use this um, for most of the eye I would have thought. Um, I'm just going to take this pale orangey shade, just just for the transition. And it picks it up quite nicely, and I'm just going to put that in the crease, just to start off with. It is blending really, really nicely as well. <coughs> yeah, I like that, blending really good, okay. Um, so, I really want to go for like these ones, um, I'm thinking I should do like a spotlight or something, what do you think? Um, could do like a dark green, like this one, and then like some of these in the middle, that'd look quite cute on it. 
Okay, so let's do this dark one here then. So this dark green. I haven't done a green eye look in for so long. Oh, hello. This is really pigmented. So I'm just going to put this dark colour on the inner and the outer corners of my eye. And then I'm just going to kind of like blend it up. I'm kind of using the side of this actually. This side bit is really good for blending. And then the point bit is really good to actually get in there, if that makes sense. I'm just going to join them up at the top. I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. <clears throat> I'm just going to take a clean brush. <coughs> if I own such a thing. I'm just going to take this one. This is the Zoeva 227. And it's just a clean brush. I'm just going to diffuse the edges a little bit okay and then I'm going to take one of these shades here so I might take <clears throat> which one I might take this one and then maybe add that on the top so again same row techniques brush I'm just going to pack that in the middle. Mm, that's not quite what I was going for, I don't think. No. Let's go for the shimmery one next to it then. This seems to be picking up a bit more. Yeah, baby. Now I might put the lighter blue one in here as well. That's got a bit of shimmer as well. Whoa, well, it picks up a ton. Yeah, that's better. Kind of stands out a bit more. I'm going to go back in with that Ziva brush. And I'm just going to blend it out at the top a little bit. And then in between. This is looking a bit cray cray. Okay. I think that's enough for the eyeshadows for a sec. So far I'm really, really impressed with the brushes. Um, I'm going to put some mascara on. I'm going to use the... Rodeal um, Glam Lash Mascara in XXL. Delicious. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on my top lashes um, and put some eyelashes on. I'm probably going to put on the Demi Wispies from Ardell and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've checked my mascara and lashes on and then I did dust away my bake underneath. Um, I'm just going to set my face um, with the Studio Fix um, foundation from MAC, from MAC, from MAC, um, and this is shade NW33, and then just with a big fluffy brush, I'm just going to set my whole face, this just gives a little bit of extra coverage as well as it is a foundation powder. Okay, and then <clears throat> I'm just going to take this brush. This is the Sport FX Double Lender. I'm just going to take the fluffy end. I'm going to take the bronzer from Makeup Revolution, and this is the shade Bronzer Kiss. And I'm just going to warm up the cheeks a tiny bit before we contour.
I'm just going to add a little bit to my forehead as well. Or my five head, should I say. <laughs> okay, and then to contour the cheeks, I'm going to use the um, Kat Von D Shade and Light Contouring Kit. I'm going to take the bigger brush from the Real Techniques collection and I'm going to take this end colour and I'm going to see how well it will contour. I'm thinking it will be quite good because of the point it will really get in there but let's give it a go. Oh okay. I'm kind of using the point to get in there and then using the side to blend it out. I really like that. There's a really, really good brush for contouring, guys. This one was the, sorry, I didn't say, it was the point S. So point small, I'm guessing that means. <clears throat> really like that it's like cut my cheeks right I'm gonna take a small bit on the top and I'm just gonna try and contour my nose with it oh yeah decent I like that it's pointed it is really really good is really really good for contouring your nose guys awesome okay <clears throat> so for blush does anyone want to guess <laughs> yes I'm using the sleek eye and cheek palette in 013 we use the pink shade <clears throat> Okay, and then for highlight, I'm going to use I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution um, Ultra Pro Glow Palette, and I'm going to take one of my unicorn brushes, um, and I'm going to take I'm going to take this really pale shade. And see how many people we can blind. I'm going to put a bit above, above my brow bone. And then down my nose. Cupid's bow. Bit my chin. <clears throat> and then just to finish the eyes, I'm just going to go back in with that um point xs i'm just going to tap off what i it keeps a lot of product in here <clears throat> okay i'm going to take do i go green underneath or do i do a different color what purple what about that purple oh. shall i let's use a different brush then for that <clears throat> let's use the Point XXS, so it's smaller again, it's still the same shape. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Let's go for the like the warmer one. Again, picks up quite a good bit of product. I'm just gonna run this under the under my lower lash line. Yeah, I quite like that. This brush is really good because it's like just the right size to get under your lash line. Oh, that's so cool. We didn't use a little one. I want to use the little one. Okay, so this one is the point .XXXS. So it's like really, really small. I'm just going to use it for some inner corner highlight. Um, so I'm using that Makeup Revolution palette and that light colour again. 
I'm just going to put some in the... Oh, hello. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'm just going to put a little bit under my brow bone as well. This is like the perfect size for your inner corner and your brow bone highlight. And you definitely nailed it on this size brush. Definitely. Okay, I'm just going to chuck some mascara on my lower lashes. Okay. And then to finish it off with a lip. So I'm not going to do anything too, too bold. Uh, I'm just going to do a brown nudie lip. Um, since we've gone crazy on the eyeballs. Um, so this is the Dose of Colours liquid lipstick in the shade cork yeah that looks nice okay and then to lock it all in place I'm just going to use the Smashbox photo finish primer water Okay, this is the finished look guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I definitely recommend the Multitech collection, so go and get yours. Um, I think they sell them in Superdrug only at the moment. Um, but definitely, the sponge is so, so soft. The brushes, the sizes of them are just awesome. And obviously the point just really gets into so either your cheekbones or your, your eye crease. Like, which is so so good so yeah I do recommend these I have really enjoyed using them today if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also turn on that notifications bell so you can see when I upload next and I'll see you on the next one bye